communication circuits. Okay. The electrical power system. Check. Inverters. Operational. RCS heaters. On. Oxygen flow. Normal. Unidentified flying object bearing 428146 green. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptor 1 to moon base control. Computerized course A OK. Roger, Interceptor 1. Moonbase to shadow control. Go ahead, Moonbase. Interceptor spaceborne and on course. UFO maintaining flight path, now 15 miles from GSP-4. We'll have contact with UFO in approximately 4 minutes, 30 seconds. Roger. Maintain speed. Houston from GSP-4. Go ahead, GSP-4. We have completed our course correction. Everything is A-OK -okay at minus 36, 42, 25, 2, touchdown. Roger. Everything looks good here, too. We have go for re-entry at 1,600 hours tomorrow. Roger, Houston. By the way, did you uh, identify the signal? Negative. But it doesn't seem to be influencing your flight path. Just keep on scanning and recording it. Roger, Houston. Out. Still with us? Yeah. Yes, that's right. I want a complete press, radio, and TV clampdown on any information relating to the signal being monitored by the GSP-4. But look, I can't make it any clearer for you. Well, you tell them anything you want. That's your problem. How far, Paul? Twelve. It's still closing. Uh. If it gets any closer before the interceptors are in range, they won't be able to attack. UFO reducing speed. Position 10 miles from GSP-4. GSP-4 to mission control. Uh, this signal we've been getting seems to be real strong now. Do you have any comment to make on that down there? Yeah, we know, Al. Well. We're getting it, too. But as far as we can tell, there's nothing to worry about. Just maintain your flight path. Roger, Houston. UFO two miles from capsule. Interceptors now in range. Control to interceptors. Continue on course and await firing instructions. One mile. Interceptors in position. Awaiting firing instructions. Roger, in base. We can't attack. No, it's too near the capsule. Tell Moonbase to recall the interceptors, Lieutenant. And then alert Skydiver. Yes, sir. This is Shadow Control. We don't have to guess this time. All right. It's going to follow the space probe. Right back to Earth.
Good boy. What kept you? You cheated. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Idiot! I want to try to control. Have search predicted landing area. No trace of UFO. It's thickly wooded. Aerial visibility limited. Tell Sky One to redock with Skydiver. And get the mobiles out there as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Well, there's no chance it's lifted off again. Ground radar would have picked it up. Yeah. It's out there somewhere. How long will it take the mobiles to get there? Two or three hours. You better get moving. Shut up. Pa says you're taking him to Berlin next month. Well, he always likes to be there when I'm riding an international event. Who's that? Shut up. Maybe it's a party of Sioux. You know, Indians. I think I know who it is. Look out for the arrows. a dozen times about trespassing and lighting fires on our land. I thought I told you enough times, Cully, but you still don't seem to get the message. Ross! If ever I see you or that mongrel on this estate again, get moving.
White man, him strong. <laughs> Area 12, negative. Roger, 1. Continue search in Area 14. Search leader to Shadow Control still have no visual evidence of UFO. You should come home more often, Anne. It's the only time we get a decent meal. She can't tear herself away from the bright light. You should get someone in to look after you. What about a kinky Swedish au pair girl? We did. A Swedish au pair? I bet her name was Olga. And Mrs. Harris from the village. I tried it for a couple of weeks. I thought it was going to be all right. She was a good cook. But in the end, it uh, didn't work out. Oh? Well, if you lost your cool like you did today, I'm not surprised. What have you been up to, Russ? I ran into our favourite hippie again. Oh, him. Yeah. Where were the others? I don't know. Actually, I quite liked him. At least he was different. Different's the word. If I had my way, I'd lock the whole bunch up. Oh, there's no real harm in them. That's more coffee, isn't it? Isn't there? You wait and see. Well, family, why don't you get the fuzz to move them on? Fuzz? The police. Ah. Well, they've tried, but they always seem to come back. Well, the one we ran into today is vicious. And if the police don't do anything about it, I will. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Roger three, continue search in area 25. Yes. Colonel Foster for you, sir. Hello, Paul. How's it going? No luck, sir. We've covered 70% of the area, no sign of the UFO. Okay, Paul. Keep at it. Right. <sighs> Lieutenant Johnson, I'm gonna grab some sleep. If anything develops, call me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, dog. Let's go.
you wouldn't do that. What the hell are you doing down here? I heard Louis stomping around. He sounded frightened, so I came down. What's the matter with him? He's sweating up. There's nobody out there. I don't know what could have frightened him. Well, he seems all right now. you staying at? Who knows? No, seriously. Maybe a few more days? Well, it's good to have you home. You're too kind. How about a swim? And what do we do about costumes? I meant in the nude. You do make some stupid suggestions. All right then, go as you are. Hey! <laughs> What's the matter with him? He's sweating again. Russ, listen. I can't hear anything. That's just it. There's nothing. Not even a bird. Come on. You're enough to scare anything away.
Well, we've completed the search of the whole area. There's nothing. No trace at all? Burned vegetation, broken trees, tracks? Negative. And no response from the instruments. I'm convinced it's not in this area. All right, all right. We'll have to move on. In which direction? Well, we'll have to widen the search area. Divide your mobiles and branch out east and west from the original flight path. Right. Convoy! Hop! Come on, Bluey. But his horse is here. Come on. You stay here. Russ! Russ? Shadow Intelligence have just received a report on a missing person. I want you to look into it. Missing person? Yes. What are the details? Russell Stone, the international show jumper. And he lives about three miles from the search area. The place called Stone Dean Farm. What about the authorities? That's all been taken care of. Now get over there right away. Well, I think I understand the situation. Is there anything else you can tell me? Uh, no, I don't think so. Miss Stone? No, I'm sorry. I'd like to take a look around the estate. Is that possible? Yes, of course. I appreciate your getting here so quickly. I'll drive you. Thanks. Uh, 
There is something else. In the wood, I found a dog. It was horribly mutilated. Whatever did that? I understand. How big is the estate? About 200 acres. Are there any roads? No, but there's quite a few tracks. We could drive around, if you like. About here. It's where we found his hat. Right, let's go. Hold it. What's over there? Just a tumble-down shack. A couple of hippies have been living there. Let's take a look. They seem to have moved out. They'll probably be back. We ran into one of them yesterday. Russ chased him around. Tried to scare him off. His dog. Scruffy looking thing. Can your brother swim? Like a fish. Listen. There's nothing. Like before. Before? With Russ, earlier. And his horse was frightened. It was sweating. I want you to do something for me. Go back to the house and wait for me. Go on. Take the truck. I'll walk back. OK, then. What happened? Uh, over there. Cully. to get the motor.
mobiles into position. We should be there in about 10 minutes. Well, let's hope your theory is right. There's no other explanation. The UFO's been in Earth's atmosphere two days now. It would have started to disintegrate. Mobile one? We're in position, ready to fire. Roger. Mobile two? In position and ready. Roger. Set detonation for 10 seconds. Mobile one, fire. Mobile two, fire. Mobile standby for rapid fire. All mobiles, fire. Mobile three, get the skin team ready. There's something in the water. more dangerous than dealing with it here. If a trigger mechanism is set, any movement could blow this place to pieces. You mean diffuse it here? I don't know, Paul. I'm not saying that it is an explosive device. What I am saying is that we must treat it like one. Lieutenant, sound a red alert. They are all non-essential personnel from the complex. Yes, sir. This is a red alert. This is an internal emergency. 
all personnel on B roster to evacuate area. Could be a long wait. There's an old miner saying, Paul. The nearer you are to an explosion, the better your chances are. It can't be much longer. Most of it disintegrated. And this didn't? No. It must be something pretty special. Straker. The radiation tests will be through in a couple of minutes, sir. We'll be right there. Listen to this, Commander. Okay. it up on the audio sensor. I'm somewhere in the center here. Well, what do you make of it? It's regular, mechanical. We think we've pinpointed the mechanism here, sir. If we cut an exploratory hole here, we can get an X-ray shot and see what makes it tick. Once we start cutting, sir, anything can happen. All right, let's get on with it. Right. low. Radiation negative. No, sir, there's still no other reaction. Any readings? No, sir, still no other reaction. It's through. I'm going to remove the cutout.
now we'll find out what we're up against, sir. There is no possible doubt? No, sir. It is a human heart. Russell's stone. It must be. They've slowed his rate of metabolism and heartbeat down by lowering the body temperature. All packed up, ready for shipment. The doctors think there is a chance they can get him out alive, but uh, they'd like someone he knows to be around when he comes to. I'll take care of it. Yes. Miss Stone, this is Commander Straker. It's Anne, isn't it? Yes, but I'm so confused. All this. Where am I? Yes, well, if you try not to think about that for the moment. We found your brother. Russ? Is he all right? We hope he will be. Easy drugs ready, sir. Right. It'll help you to forget. Go, boy, Bluey. Come on, boy. Hop! Very good. He's coming on. He's coming on. Come on. Come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> This is Stone Dean Farm. That's right. Nice place. We like it. I was interested in taking a few riding lessons. Hmm. That's what we're here for. Oh, uh, that is Russell Stone, isn't it? The famous show jumper. Yes. I'm his sister, Anne. And you are? Foster. Paul Foster. Come up to the house, Mr. Foster. Come on. Come on. 